Are you tired of signing up for free AI image tools and slamming into a paywall after 10 images? Most free tools give you a few credits, slap on watermarks, or hide limits that make them useless for real work. Today I'm testing six AI image generators that are actually free to use. No credits, no daily limits, no paywalls. I'll show you the real outputs, how to use each one in a few simple steps, and at the end I'll tell you which tools are worth your time and, and which you can skip. But before we jump in, take a second to support the channel. Drop a like, and if you're learning something today and want more walkthroughs like this, comment more down below. Your support genuinely helps keep this flow going and lets me keep digging into the best free tools out there. First tool is AI Free Forever. This one is great if you just want something quick and free, no account, no drama, open your browser and go to AIFreeForever.com. On the homepage, you'll see a big search bar and a bunch of different tools. In the menu or in the list, look for image generators and click that. That takes you to the image page. In the middle, you'll see a big prompt box. Just type in what you want to create. Because this is a text to image tool, the more specific you are, the better it gets. Under that, you can choose the aspect ratio. If you're thinking about YouTube or long form video, I usually go with 16 by 9. It makes your life easier later because you don't need to crop. When you're happy with the prompt, click generate. Most of the time it gives you an image in a few seconds. Sometimes you have to wait a bit longer, even up to a minute or two before the next one. Don't worry, you're not the only one. That's kind of normal with free tools. The quality isn't insane high end, but it's good enough for testing ideas. And the big win here is no login, no credits, no watermark. You can just keep generating as long as you have patience. Next up is Raphael AI. This one is super simple and you're probably going to like how clean it looks. Open a new tab and go to raphaeli.org. On the front page, you'll see a big text box and a button to generate an image. No dashboard, no clutter, it just wants your prompt. Type in the idea you want to test. I'm using the same concept across all tools in this video so you can see the difference later and I recommend you try that too. Under the hood, Raphael uses models like Flux and a few others, but you don't need to pick anything manually. It routes that for you. If you see a small settings or size icon, you can quickly adjust the aspect ratio there. Again. 16 by 9 works great if you're planning this for YouTube. Click Generate, wait a moment, and it will render one or more images. When something looks good, click on it and use Download or Save. Raphael is described as free and unlimited in their Q&A, so you can keep prompting and downloading without even creating an account, which is really nice if you're just experimenting or batch testing ideas. Next tool is Perchance. This one feels like a hidden gem and you'll see why pretty quickly. Open perchance.org slash AI dash text dash to dash image dash generator. You'll see a simple layout, a prompt box at the top and a few options underneath. No login screen. You're just in. Start by typing your main idea into the prompt box. If you're not sure how to phrase it, there's a little brain icon you can click that helps you build or improve your prompt, which is actually really helpful. Below that, you can add more detail. You can choose a shot type, a color mood, or an effect. In the next row, you can switch the style to something like a cinematic shot or an animated look. After that, pick your image shape and how many outputs you want in one go. It's all laid out in one line, so it's very easy to follow once you've done it once. When you're ready, click Generate. Perchance we'll start showing images down the page as they're created. The outputs are honestly impressive. They have that clean, high-quality aesthetic that works really well for thumbnails and storytelling. Just scroll, find the one you like, right-click, and choose Save Image. It also gets stored in your private gallery on the site, so you can come back and download it again later if you need to. There's no login, no credits, and no watermark, and you can just keep generating. For me, this one really feels like a quite underrated powerhouse. So these are the ones I use when I just want to generate a lot of images for free with zero friction. Now let's jump into a different category. Tools that are still free, but feel way more premium and almost unlimited when you use them right. All right, let's jump into LM Arena. Go to lmarena.ai and sign up. Once you're logged in, here's how to get started. First, make sure you've selected the image icon in the prompt box. Next, go to the top menu and switch over to direct chat mode. Now, look over to the right. There's a drop-down menu and this is where things get really good. Here, 
you can choose from several of the best free image models currently available, including Seadream 4.0, Nano Banana by Google, Hanyuan, and more, depending on what's currently active. Each one has a slightly different output style, some more realistic, some more stylized, and you can test them all completely free. For example, I've already made separate deep dives on Seadream 4.0 or Nano Banana, so if you want to go deeper, I've got links in the description. Now, just enter your prompt. I'll go with a futuristic city at night under glowing neon clouds. Choose your model, hit generate, and wait a few seconds. Here are some outputs from different models, but with the same prompt. With some models, you can add your reference image and add some changes. Click here on a plus sign and select your image. Add a prompt and click generate. The result appears right below. No watermark, no credit countdown, just clean output. LM Arena is a fantastic option if you want to compare multiple models, test visual styles side by side, or build a personal creative workflow, completely free. You can also check the current leaderboard to see which models are performing best. For text-to-image generation, Hanyuan is currently ranked at the top based on real user feedback. This next one is Dreamina, and to unlock it as a free and unlimited image and video generator, you'll need to use a simple little hack. Here's how it works. First, make sure you have a VPN installed. Any free one will do. Set your location to Nigeria, then go to the Dreamina website. And now go ahead and sign up with your email, nothing fancy. At first, you'll see zero credits in your account. Don't panic, this is expected. Now, while still logged in, change your VPN location to the UK, then simply refresh your Dreamina tab. And just like that, you now have full access to free image and video generation. Let's walk through the image generation process. At the top of the screen, click on the drop-down menu and select Images. Now choose your model version. We'll go with the latest one for this test. Next, set your aspect ratio. I'm using 16 to 9 for a widescreen layout. Then pick your preferred resolution. You've got a few quality levels to choose from depending on your needs. You'll also see an option to add text onto the image. Great if you're designing thumbnails or posts directly. There's also an option to upload a reference image, but for now, we'll keep it simple. I'm just going to enter a prompt. A futuristic cityscape at night with neon lights. Then click Generate. Dreamina will build your image in seconds. And with this trick in place, you can keep creating as much as you want without hitting a credit wall. All right, just like I promised at the beginning. Now, let's talk about how you can use Midjourney for free. Right now. We've all heard that Meta and Midjourney partnered. But the big question is, how is that partnership actually showing up in the tools? Here's where it gets exciting. Meta AI has integrated Midjourney directly into its backend. So when you generate images inside Meta, you're essentially getting Midjourney level quality for free. Still skeptical? Let's test it and compare. First, open up Meta AI. Click the plus sign at the bottom, then select Create. Now you'll see the generation options image or video. We'll go with image. Next, set your aspect ratio. I'm choosing 16 to 9. Then you'll see the aesthetic panel where you can adjust variety, weirdness, stylization. Before we go further, let's quickly open Midjourney settings and look at what's there. And yep, it's the same layout. Variety, weirdness, stylization, pretty interesting, right? Now let's test it with a real prompt. I'll use the same line in both tools. A neon lit samurai standing on a rooftop in futuristic Tokyo. Here's the meta AI output. And now here's the same prompt in mid journey. Look at that. The color, mood, lighting, and detail all feel like they came from the same model family. It's honestly wild. After running several comparisons, I can say with a high level of confidence, there's definitely mid journey inside meta AI. And remember, you can generate videos too. So there's a good chance that part of the video engine is being influenced by Midjourney's design language as well. If you haven't tried this yet, I highly recommend jumping on it while it's still free and unlimited. This is a rare opportunity and it's not clear how long it'll last. That's it for today's walkthrough. I hope this helped you discover a few new tools to power your creative workflow without spending a cent. If you want to see what's possible with free AI video generators, make sure to check out my next video. I'll walk you through the best platforms for turning text and images into full videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.